Welcome to the World of Webster, a TV series that captivated audiences in 1983. Have you ever found yourself reminiscing about the first time you tuned in, perhaps sparking a cherished memory associated with the show? As we delve into the intriguing facets of Webster, we invite you to reflect on your own personal experiences with this classic series. Now, let's unravel some random facts about the show to set the stage for your journey down memory lane. Created by Stu Silver, Webster revolves around the endearing tale of an orphan boy, Webster Long, played by Emmanuel Lewis, who is adopted by wealthy couple George and Catherine Papadopoulos. The series explores the challenges and heartwarming moments that arise as Webster adjusts to his new life with his adoptive family. Before we dive into your most cherished memories, consider this. The show was not only known for its touching narratives, but also for its significant impact on popular culture. The pint-sized Webster quickly became an iconic character, and the series, spanning six seasons, left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. So, when was the first time you watched Webster? What resonated with you, and do you hold a particular episode close to your heart? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Your personal experiences add a rich layer to the tapestry of Webster nostalgia. Now, let the anecdotes flow as you share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Webster. Your unique perspective contributes to the collective appreciation of this timeless series. Engage with fellow fans and relive the magic that made Webster a standout in television history. Let the reminiscing begin and we eagerly await your stories and memories in the comments below. After all, the beauty of Webster lies not only in its episodes, but in the shared experiences of its viewers. In Season 5, Episode 18 of Webster, an unexpected detail caught the attention of eagle-eyed viewers. In this particular episode titled Dial K for Catherine, the character Catherine's phone number is revealed, 555-1285. It's a blink and yell miss it moment, but it adds a quirky touch to the series. This revelation may not have a significant impact on the overall plot, but it showcases the attention to detail that the creators put into the show. Fans often enjoy discovering these subtle Easter eggs that add an extra layer of fun to their viewing experience. Interestingly, the show also had a brief connection to future comedy icon Jerry Seinfeld. He served as a staff writer for a week, attempting to contribute his comedic talents to the series. However, none of his material made it to air. It's a curious footnote in Seinfeld's career, considering the immense success he would later achieve with his own iconic sitcom. Another notable fact about Webster is the surprising age dynamic between two key characters. Jack Crushin, who played George's father, was only 15 years older than Alex Kara's in real life. This unusual age proximity adds an intriguing dimension to their on-screen father-son relationship. In conclusion, Webster, beyond its entertaining storylines, holds some interesting trivia for those willing to dig a bit deeper. Whether it's a hidden phone number, a brief stint by a future comedy legend, or an unusual age dynamic between characters, these details contribute to the unique charm of the 1983 TV series. Billy Sands, known for his roles in various TV shows and films, had his final performance in the 1983 series Webster. He passed away on August 27, 1984. Sands' contribution to the show adds a poignant note to its history. Moving on, Webster, portrayed by Emmanuel Lewis, experienced a notable age span throughout the series starting as a five-year-old and concluding at the age of eight. In reality, Lewis was 12 when the show began and turned 17 just a day before the finale premiered, marking a significant portion of his formative years spent on the set. Interestingly, the show underwent title changes before settling on Webster. Originally named Another Ball Dame, and later then came you, the final title encapsulates the essence of the series. His aspects contribute to the multifaceted nature of the 1983 TV series, showcasing not only its on-screen narrative, but also the off-screen stories that define its legacy. Gary Coleman had already outgrown the youthfulness that fueled the success of different strokes when Webster hit the screens. ABC's response to the popularity of the former show featured Emmanuel Lewis, as the new cute African-American kid adopted by a white family. While Coleman had aged beyond the initial premise of different strokes, Lewis brought a fresh dynamic to the formula. The show's original concept, however, was quite different. It was supposed to revolve around George and Catherine, 
portraying a newly married celebrity couple attempting to settle into normal domestic life. Emmanuel Lewis' involvement was a later addition, as he was signed to star in an undeveloped and undefined series for ABC. The network then made the decision to merge the two concepts, shaping the show we now know as Webster. Interestingly, George is Alex Karras' real-life middle name. This adds a personal touch to the character he portrayed on screen, emphasizing the connection between the actor and his role. In essence, Webster wasn't just a response to a changing TV landscape, but a fusion of different ideas and concepts that resulted in a unique show. The initial plan, the integration of Emmanuel Lewis, and the personal touch of Alex Karras' middle name all played roles in shaping the series. Stu Silver envisioned Webster as a modern take on Woman of the Year, a concept that eventually evolved into the unique series we know. The initial plan, inspired by Silver's vision, aimed to portray George and Catherine as a newly married celebrity couple navigating everyday life. However, a twist occurred when Emmanuel Lewis, signed for a separate ABC project, was integrated into the storyline, reshaping the show's narrative. Webster's character dynamics extended beyond the screen. Susan Clark, initially resentful of the adopted son storyline, insisted on being referred to as mom instead of mom. This detail, though disputed by some writers, adds a layer of complexity to Webster's relationship with Catherine Calder Young Papadopoulos. As the series progressed, Henry Pollock II, initially a significant character, saw a reduced role in season two. This shift in character prominence highlights the evolving dynamics within the show. Webster, with its amalgamation of ideas and the integration of Lewis into the storyline, defied conventional TV norms. George's on-screen persona, with the personal touch of Alex Karras' middle name, emphasized the connection between actor and role. In essence, Webster's journey from its original concept to the integration of Lewis and the nuanced on-screen relationships offers a fascinating look into the evolution of a show that transcended its initial vision. As we bid adieu to the nostalgic realm of the 1983 TV series Webster, let the echoes of laughter and life lessons linger in the corridors of your memories. As you navigate through the labyrinth of time, pause for a moment to reflect on the indelible mark this heartwarming show has left on your personal journey. Webster, with its timeless charm and endearing characters, has been a companion on the voyage of our lives. Whether it's the witty banter, the gentle life lessons, or the heartwarming family moments, each episode has woven itself into the tapestry of our own stories. In the intricacies of Webster's world, perhaps you found echoes of your own joys, challenges, and triumphs. Now, it's your turn to be the storyteller. Share with us your treasured memories, the moments that made you laugh out loud or the scenes that tugged at your heartstrings. Let's build a collective narrative of how Webster became not just a TV series, but a cherished chapter in the book of our lives. Engage with us, fellow travelers through time and television, as we celebrate the enduring magic of Webster. Drop your thoughts, memories, or reflections in the comments below. Your stories are the threads that weave the fabric of our shared nostalgia. Thank you for embarking on this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and reflections are the keystones that keep the spirit of Webster alive. Until we meet again in the realms of reminiscence, stay enchanted by the magic of your own stories.